Hey y'all, it's Katie DePaula, founder and CEO of Inner Glow Circle, and I'm here with your weekly coach training lesson. So today I'm talking about lesson three, which I'm not going to tell you everything about, but I'm going to tell you some things, right? So in our coach training certification program, which is a sixth, sixth, a six month course. Um, hi, look at all my friends joining. So in our coach training certification program, which is a six month course, the third lesson we teach is all about setting up the coaching relationship and how to do consultation. So I'm going to give you a couple tips on that today. Um, it's really important. So we have a partnership with the ICF, which is the international coaching federation. And it's really important with the ICF that, um, and with us, obviously that you have set coaching agreements that you as coach and your client as client know what the agreement is, right? Like, what are we doing here? How big is the container? Is it six months? Is it three months? Are we just doing one session? How much does it cost? Right? Hey, Denise. Um, and what happens if something goes wrong in the relationship, right? Like, oh, this is bothering me. What happens if we don't want to work together anymore, right? Or if we need to reset the agreement, like I want to move from four sessions to two sessions, right? So all these different pieces that uh, make up the coaching agreement, what are we agreeing to? How are we going to do this coaching thing? Really, really important. And it's something that sometimes people like kind of step over or they skip over or they do really lightly um, when they're learning how to coach, but it's really, really important that you go through this step-by-step step and you really know how you want to navigate this in your coaching practice. So that's the first big piece here. The other thing I want to talk about is consultation. So all the time, many times today already, I have conversations with people who, Hey, Charisma, look at this fun group. Um, I've got a bunch of our students and student trainers and new students for um, the spring coming on. So maybe you guys have things to add too. But in an initial in an initial consultation, which is usually called or often called a discovery call, we want to know exactly how to do it, right? How do you do a consultation? I'm going to walk you through that. So before the call, you want to ground yourself. You want to make sure you're in a good space, that if you just got off of a stressful call, you kind of reset your energy. If you haven't eaten all day, you eat something, right? You want to be fully prepared. You want to be like in your body, right? And you want to feel good. You don't want to be distracted by any drama or outside distractions. You want to be fully present for your new client. And I say new client because I really believe like one of the keys to having a successful coaching business is teaching every new client, every prospect, like they're already your client. And sometimes they'll even say that in a coaching consultation because that's really what I believe and that's really how I operate. To me, if I'm on the phone with you, I'm thinking we're going to work together and I'm thinking and feeling like, how would I treat you if you were just my client? Because my, my thought is you're probably going to be my client, right? And regardless, I want to teach treat every single person, whether we end up working together or not, like they are my client because I want to give them that, that experience. So once you've kind of centered your energy and grounded yourself, you want to have your client call you at your scheduled time, or maybe you meet on a Zoom line if you're doing video, or you meet on like a, a call line, right? Like we use Uber conference a lot of the time. When you get on the phone, you greet your client, you say, thank you so much for being here. I'm so, so grateful to be able to talk with you and that you set a framework for the call, right? So you say like, we have 15 minutes together. We have 20 minutes together. We have 30 minutes together. And I'd like to start by getting to know you and your goals. If you're a health coach, you're going to ask specific questions related to health. If you're a relationship coach, relationship. If you're a life coach, you're just going to ask more general questions. You might ask about all those buckets. And even if you're a health coach, you're going to want to ask about their relationships, right? If you're a business coach, you're going to want to know about their personal lives, their well-being, because usually what's showing up in one area of our lives and why something isn't working is actually showing up in other areas too. So there's all these little clues and puzzle pieces that we find throughout the coaching relationship that can be incredibly, incredibly helpful. Um, and then the next piece, like people always ask me like, well, how do I get clients? How do I like get hired? How do I start? And you want to understand the framework of a, of a consultation, which is what I'm giving you today. But then you really want to understand like the biggest piece about coaching. And this is where people really get it wrong because they think like, what am I going to say? And it's like the best thing to say is like not that much stuff. 
Because what we actually want as a coach is to come from question, come from curiosity, right? So we say that um, as a coach, you want to be speaking 30, maybe 40% of the time, and you want your client to be speaking 60 to 70% of the time. And usually coaches flip-flop that, right? So if you've had a coach that talks too much or you've noticed yourself talking too much, um, it's just something to clean up. It's just something to be a bit more aware of that we want our clients to be talking more of the time. My eyeballs look really big sometimes. No, but really we want our clients to be talking the majority of the time. So ask engaging consultation questions. I'm going to give you some examples, but I'm not going to give you all the examples because you have to come to class. Um, Tell me about yourself, right? What's working in your life and what's not working? Let them talk. That's the key part. What are you committed to having? What do you really desire? And then what's keeping you from having those things? Like we want to know what's in people's way because that's what's the clue to like what is actually going to work for them. What's going to um, not fix but create uh, forward progress and movement in the areas where they're stuck. We all get stuck and that's why people hire you because they're stuck, right? And then you want to start asking them like, well, what, you know, what's your ideal situation? What's possible for you? Um, If those circumstances weren't impacting you or if your mindset wasn't impacting you, what would change, right? What would be possible? And then asking people, of course, like what questions do you have about coaching? What questions do you have about, about how I work? Before I ever talk pricing or timeline or anything with my client, I like to just ask them first, like I like it to not be about that at all and just be about connecting and, you know, not feeling any um, rigidity about, okay, let's formalize this thing. Like, I'm really here to get to know you and see if I can help you, see if I can support you. But the last thing you want to ask is, what questions do you have about coaching or how I work, right? And they're likely going to ask you, well, how does it work to work with you? How long is the coaching relationship? Is there a minimum uh, time period? How much is it per session or per month, right? And that's where then you walk them through the coaching relationship. So you know, I always believe in like sharing about things from the lens of what they need, meaning like um, talking through your offerings, th- talking through your offerings through the lens of what your client needs, right? So actually saying, um, you know, So here's how, you know, you talked about your relationship stuff. Here's how we would approach that. Here's how we would address that. You know, it's a six month container because uh, look at how much you want to do. These things take time, which is true. You have to be honest. You have to say the truest things, right? We don't ever want to be um, making stuff up to try to close the deal. That's not what we're here for. We're here for authentic sales, authentic communication. And then, you know, you ask them, how does this feel to you? Do you want to move forward? And um, we get a little bit more into objections and do's and don'ts. But I think that's a really great summary. Hopefully there's a lot you can go back and listen to and write down the questions. If you've started your coaching practice, I hope this helps you improve it and get even more consultations and then close those consultations into active clients. And if you haven't started your coaching business, hopefully this should give you a a few Uh tips. Um... If you, some, I know some of the people watching are signed up for uh, spring training, but what I want to do, it's Instagram's being funky for me. Okay. What I want to do is share the wait list um, because the wait list closes at the end of the month. And if you go to innerglowcircle.com slash spring wait list, you will be able to put your name on our wait list for our next program. And oh, sorry, waitlist. Um, innerglowcircle.com slash spring waitlist. I'm gonna post it and I'm gonna pin it here. Yeah. So go there, innerglowcircle.com slash spring waitlist. Put your name on the waitlist. And yeah, we can't wait to have you. We can't wait to work with you. And more than anything, we can't wait to see you launch your business out into the world. So fun hanging with you today. DM us if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. Bye.